So hi everyone. Today we'll be exploring a very interesting soft AI software that I've recently figured out for GitHub repositories that is Mutable AI. So let's get started. Let's understand how Mutable AI works. So basic understanding of Mutable AI is basically it helps you to understand the GitHub repository. So if you pro if you trying to explore one of your GitHub repositories, provides you with a lot of features out of like where is this particular section of code? It can generate uh, an auto summary for the whole code. Whatever you have posed in the last 24 hours can generate something for your scrums in the morning, what you can say. So it's a very pretty, one of the most interesting softwares that I have recently figured out. So let's get started. So first of all, you need to log in with your GitHub account. So that I have done already. If you are not able to do it, that's not a big deal. Uh, eventually, they provide you with some options that we, which you can explore from uh, not that are not in your GitHub account. So right now here you can see that I have connected my GitHub account with Mutable AI. So I can see all my private repositories as well and all the public repositories also you can search out. No issues with that. So I'll pick up one of first of all I will pick up one of my private repositories around Portfolio Builder. Let's for example. As you can see there is a pop-up coming at loading repository. It might take some time. Yes. So now here you can see that you are getting a lot of options for uh, like exploring this particular GitHub repository. Now this is not just for first, uh, private repositories. You can also take the link of any public repository and go for an exploration. So here you can see that there is a dialog box coming in asking you for like give suggesting you what you can ask. So basically you can ask questions about which file is getting used, why this particular file, what is the role of this particular file, what are the different components present in the file. You can ask certain questions here like as you can see here. We'll be asking it a few questions like what is the purpose of graph builder.py file. So let's click on this. So here you can see that what this particular file is doing. Graph underscore builder.py file contains code to build a directed graph representing the daily routine of a typical workday for a user. Something like that. And then it is eventually explaining the code also, okay, whatever has been done within the script. Now it is also suggesting more questions or even you can write on your own also. So like for example, so I will ask you, I will ask it how such a on AWS like for example. So here you can see that now it is suggesting me how this particular repo can be deployed in AWS. So you can ask a lot of questions. It is suggesting you some questions also what you can ask. Now apart from that there are multiple things that you can see on the left hand side as well. So here you can see that first of all going for potential bugs in this particular repo or to bugs preview. This is also a very interesting feature. You can see so here you can see the null pointer exception. It is just suggesting you this can be something that you can have with the premium version. It can suggest auto bugs in your code apart from that. It can also help you generate auto stand up preview. So whatever you have put in the last 24 or like whatever time period you set, it will generate a summary for you so that you can deliver in your stand up. So it's a very interesting feature that they have provided. Auto wiki has generated comprehensive documentation for a code base. So here you can see the auto bugs, auto stand up summary and auto documentation facilities also provided a mutable AI. Apart from that, some basic features are also present. It can tell you what are the changes done. These are all the commit summaries that have been um, that I have committed. These are all the files. So you can do a lot of things. Basically, I wish to say. Now this was about a private repo. Now I can take out some public repo as well, and you can explore that also. So this is the best part about it. It is taking some time to load the. So now this is an unknown repo that I haven't that I know nothing about. So it's a llama related to Meta's llama. So again, you can. Use the suggestions based entry point, which is the main file. What, which file is doing what role? All this you can understand with this, with this amazing software.